Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to animate old film countdown timer using Microsoft PowerPoint. I have taken a blank presentation, removing these title boxes, adjusting the screen to maximize the working space. Right click, select the format background, choose gradient fill, select the gradient stops, choose appropriate background color. In this case, I'm choosing light gray and white combination. Select type radial and select the direction from center. Adjust the gradient stops in such a way until you get required background. Adjust the position to 75. Again go to shapes, select rectangle. Create one more rectangle. Now go to gradient fill. Again repeat the same steps we followed in the, in the previous background formatting. This time I will choose a dark gray and white combination. Now background formatting is completed. I'm going to shapes again, selecting the line. Draw a vertical line. Go to shapes outline, select a black color. Increase the weight to six points. Go to shapes again. Draw a line horizontally. Go to shapes outline. Select black color, increase the weight to 6 points. The next will be the animation of the dark rectangle. I am choosing the entrance option. I am selecting the wheel animation. So you will get a, the effect of the clockwise rotation. Repeat the animation 5 times to cover the numbers from 5 to 0. The next part of the animation is to create a rotating line. So I am going to the shapes, I am taking the circle. The diameter should be equal to the width of the screen. I am selecting 13.34 as a diameter which is equal to the width of the screen. Move the circle and place it over top of the dark grey rectangle and align it to the center. Go to format, select shape fill, select no fill option. Go to shapes again, select the line, draw a line vertically from the circumference of the circle to the center of the rectangle. Then go to shape outline, select the color to black, increase the weight to 6 points. Now select the circle. Go to shape outline, select no outline. Now select the newly created vertical line and the invisible circle. Right click and group by. Now go to animation, under emphasis, select spin option. Now you can see the rotating line in clockwise direction. 
repeat this for another 5 times to cover the numbers from 5 to 0 now these two groups of animation has to be arranged in an order so that you can see the combined effect of the rotating rectangle and the rotating line exactly the way it is required to develop the old film countdown timer sequence the timing of the animation sequence has to be adjusted select all the groups belongs to the line animation and change it to start with previous all rectangle animation should start after previous repeat this sequence for the remaining groups of rectangle and lines once the timing sequence is completed let us click the slide show view and see how it works you can see that the uh, the combined animation effect of the dark gray rectangle and the line working very nicely the next part will be the creation of two white colored circles at the center of the dark gray rectangle screen now let's draw the circles go to shape and select circle adjust the diameter of the circle to 7 position them at the center go to shape fill and select no fill go to shape outline and increase the weight to 6 points now create one more circle go to shapes select circle keep the diameter to 6.5 position at the center go to shape fill and select no fill go to shape outline and increase the weight to 6 points the next part will be the animation of the numbers i am selecting the text box draw the text box and enter the number 5 increase the size of the number keep increasing the size let's keep it at 239 which appears to be suitable size for the number copy the number and paste it and change it to number 4 paste again and change it to number 3 paste again and change it to number 2 paste again and change it to number 1 paste again and change it to number 0 let's apply the animation for the numbers select number 5 under animation select the option disappear the moment when the number 5 disappears number 4 has to appear so select number 4 select the appear animation add animation to number 4 again to disappear the moment 4 disappear 3 has to appear so select 3 select appear animation again add animation to 3 to disappear so repeat this for 2 1 and 0 once the animation for the remaining numbers are completed then we have to arrange the sequence of the animations created for the numbers now that number animations are almost completed as you can see there are sequences of appear and disappear animations for the numbers 
Let us move the animations created for the numbers and insert into the appropriate places between the rectangle animation and the line animation. Now the animations are properly inserted in the appropriate places. Now we have to adjust the timings of the individual animations to appear in a proper sequence. Select text box number 5. Drop down, select start with previous. Now select text box 4. Drop down and start with the previous for appear and start after previous for disappear. Repeat this same for the remaining text box animation up to zero. The text box sequencing is now completed. Select all the numbers and increase the size to 300. Select the numbers again. Then go to the format. Select align. Align it to center. Again align align it to middle now all the numbers are stacked one over another now move it and put it at the center of the rectangle now the animation part is completed let's click the slideshow and see how it works as you can see the spinning is very slow we need to do a slight adjustment on the timing so let's go back to the animation pane once this slideshow is completed. The slideshow is completed. Now we are back into the animation pane. So let's click the animation. Select the animation pane again. Select the rectangles. Change the duration from 2 to 1. Again select the line animation, increase the duration from 2 to 1. There is no need to adjust any timings for the text animation because it is it will be automatic. Now let's click the slideshow and see how it works. I think now it's working perfectly. I can see there is a time gap between number 5 and 4. So uh, double click the text number 5, go to timings, change the delay duration from 0 second to 1 second and click the slideshow button. I can see that it's working fine. I am screen recording this slideshow and saving it to my folders. To add the audio effect for the countdown timer, I have taken video editor from Windows 10. Click the new video project. Provide the name for the video file. I am choosing old film countdown timer. Click OK. Click the add button. Download the screen recorded file to the video editor. Drag the video to the storyboard. 
go to custom audio add audio file the audio is now added to the video as you can see the blue bar in the bottom of the video the link to download the audio is given in the description area below the video now click done click the play button and see how it works now Click finish video, export the video and save it in your folders. Once exporting is over, it's done.